My name is Franziska Taubert. I'm from the Helmholtz Center for Environmental Research in Leipzig, Germany. Uh, I'm a modeler, specifically I'm a, a grassland modeler. Included in this uh, biodiversity project uh, within a use case of grassland biodiversity and we are designing a prototype of or a prototype of digital twins for grassland. <laughs> The use case of grassland biodiversity dynamics is about investigating how climate, specifically climate change and extremes, and combined with management, really influence the dynamics of biodiversity and productivity of grasslands in Germany, but also Europe on the longer vision. It's clearly uh, required in order to um, assess what kind of management regimes are adequate to increase biodiversity levels, but also to have uh, or to maintain productivity levels uh, for grasslands in Germany, but also Europe. And um, this is important to harmonize and to also complement different um, ecosystem functions and management regimes of grasslands at the regional scale but also at the landscape scale. So key end users are um, first of all researchers, grassland researchers. Um, both both parts those are investigating grasslands in the field, doing the experiments and collecting observation data from the grasslands, but also on the other side, um, grassland modelers and um, theorists uh, on grassland biodiversity dynamics, uh, investigating the mechanisms and understanding how mechanisms of different plants interact with each other. Um, bringing both together uh, is one of the key end users, so bringing the expertise of both sides uh, more closer to each other. Uh, so field researchers can uh, have more deeper insights um, on, for example, how to manage or how to design new experiments, what, what to measure, what kind of information lags do we still have in grassland um, mechanisms and dynamics. And on the other side, models can improve the capacity or the predictive uh, performance of their model um, when they add more additional data and long-term observations of grasslands. Uh, another key users will be uh, decision makers, so specifically farmers and politicians. Uh, so farmers are, might, might be interested in having um, knowledge how to manage their grassland sites on a specific um, uh, site with specific uh, soil properties and climate regimes um, and want to um, assess or know how to manage the site to have a high productivity, so high yield, uh, but also high biodiversity level and stability and security about their yield um, on an annual basis. Uh, decision makers on the other side, um, in terms of politics, might be interested in having more information on how to achieve different goals or different um, ecosystem functions at a high level for grasslands like biodiversity and productivity um, and for designing um, subsidies for example. case um, is one specific example of a prototype of a digital twin on grassland biodiversity dynamics but um, in general it also reveals some uh, opportunities and challenges which is not only specific for grasslands but also for ecological modeling and ecology in general. So in our use case we have an individual based and mechanistic model included and this of course has the high opportunity to assess different external drivers of grassland dynamics like management regimes, uh, climate scenarios and um, also different soil um, dynamics. Uh, but on the other hand it's of course very difficult to calibrate these models and to parameterize these models. So the value of the BioDT project in a broader sense, um, I think, is to raise the awareness um, of um, uh, biodiversity and also biodiversity conservation, um, especially for grasslands. It's always um, like a counter, uh, yeah, or, yeah, complementary, having a high yield and productivity, but also having a high, high biodiversity. So it's still unknown whether we can achieve both at the same time and at which sites and environmental conditions can we have them. So um, having this digital twin, um, not only for grasslands but also for other use cases, raises the awareness of how to achieve um, economic goals but also biodiversity conservation. And another important thing is also that it brings together different parties achieving different goals like decision makers, researchers but also society, so bringing them closer together. Thank you.